Interesting. Well, you know, one area where, where Trump has uh, done things differently, perhaps from some of his predecessors, his use of social media, particularly Twitter, to talk directly to the uh, American people and, and people across the globe, frankly. I wanted to ask, because I just saw a report this week about how India could be <coughs> really the next significant area of growth for, for social media companies and technology. Uh, what can you tell us about the, the use of those platforms and how that's changed communication back um, in your country? No, no, no. no. <coughs> Uh, he initiated uh, his brainchild is recently um, from party side. Uh, he thought he uh, initiated a program. Uh, it's called Janatarangam. It's a wave of people. That's the meaning of it. Uh, so how it went up? So I think you'd uh, better to explain it. So before I get into that, I mean you must know that he's the sixth most popular guy on Twitter. Uh, you know he's got close to three and a half million followers. And he's actively followed. And what's uh, the handle for our <laughs> listeners in case they want to uh, check it's, it out? It's, it's Pawan Kalyan. At Pawan Kalyan. At Pawan Kalyan. Uh, and um, this program that he just mentioned about the, um, in, in the party, we started a program called Janatharangam, which is waves, acoustic waves, as well as waves, reaching out to people. And it was a knock on every door political campaign. But interestingly, we used technology. And all those knocks on the doors were on Facebook Live. So on a particular day, the president of our party, Mr. Pawan Kalyan, also visited the houses at 9.30 in the morning. And, you know, this conversation that went live uh, made people join this incredible revolution back there. And we had almost 30,000 videos on Facebook every day for five days. 30,000. And our social media reach uh, figures was just mind-boggling. We did 12 million in five days. And we had 396,000 people who uploaded the videos. So, so it, it was a tremendous... Uh, and, um, and people are really, because this uh, technology really we're making people to participate and they're able to be Absolutely. vocal or verbal about uh, what, they, what they feel. And uh, both the party ideology and, and everything, and we're able to leverage uh, social media in, a, in quite an effective manner. See, the biggest, um, uh, I wouldn't say the biggest, but our core strength is the youth who, who follow him and believe his ideology and his fundamental beliefs or values in life. And those are the ones who wanted to express their support of the party in the right way. And, and social media gave an opportunity for each of them to be part of the process because as a political party, we may not be able to reach out to every single person. Uh, even if we did, we could not have given them an opportunity to participate in the process. Mm -hmm. But social media allowed each one of them to connect with him. So and end of the evening, he would sit down and make phone calls to you know whoever performed <laughs> uh, beyond a normal figure, like 200, 300 uh, calls per day. These guys would take, and he would call them and congratulate them. So, so it was great. It broke all the protocols. I mean, the regular pro pro political protocols, so which made them uh, to be more straight to be connected to me, to us. So that gave us a, a lot of leverage. Uh, and I think uh, social media is going to be very powerful. That's really inspiring, yes. And you make a great point about social media allowing participation. Mm -hmm. and I know the youth probably certainly really enjoy that. Are there any final messages you'd like to share with our listeners before we go? You know, I, like I said, this partnership is very important for both the countries. And we are here as a young political party to also continue the same friendship and partnership. And we're also here to represent our community because most of the community members today are feeling a little, uh, I wouldn't say upset, but uh, a little sad at the at the new administration, the new regulatory controls that came in about immigration and how their families and their children could get affected, especially on the H-1B visa regulations that have come in. So we are here to uh, support our community, give them that strength and confidence. At the same time, at the government level, we are here to make the lawmakers understand that this is a process that they also must respect and take it further. Mm -hmm.